and everyone for joining. Joining the Wikipedia 2022 OFWA special celebration edition. So I would want to um, just officially state that Wikipedia is officially 22 years old. So on the 15th of January 2001, that was when Wikipedia was officially founded. And then as we all know, Wikipedia is an encyclopedia that has gone a long way to be beneficial to every one of us over here, especially for everyone that is into the um, open or the digital movement. So I just want to state that this is an informal session. It's, it's not a formal session, just an informal session for us where we are coming to share about our experiences editing Wikipedia. And then if you are also a newbie, you are not left out um, with the session, you can also, you know, um, tell us your expectations and then what you particularly expect when you join the Open Foundation West Africa um, community and how exactly you want to contribute on Wikipedia and its sister project. So I'm going to start by you know, introducing a few of our experienced editors. I mean, people that have edited on Wikipedia over the years, and they are going to share their experiences and what exactly they went through when they started editing on Wikipedia. So I'm going to start um, by, you know, introducing Stephen. Stephen Deji is one of the experienced editors on Wikipedia, and then he has a lot of experiences when it comes to editing on Wikipedia. So we'll let him share, you know, one or two experiences throughout this journey. And then let's see how, you know, you can also motivate the newbies that are over here and how to also, you know, edit on Wikipedia as well. So Stephen Deitchi, the floor is yours. If you can just share one or two experiences on your journey with Wikipedia or on your journey with editing Wikipedia. Oh, okay. So first of all, thanks for giving me this opportunity to also uh, share my, the experiment that I have. Uh, Ever since I started editing on Wikipedia, I, I could say it has been it has been a learning curve and it has been it has been fun. Uh, so I started. I I I, I was initially I was using Wikipedia for my research. I do read a lot, so just instant that I search for stuff and I go on Wikipedia to read it. But I never knew I could have also I can edit or you know also contribute towards it. So I met my my first like my mentor, that's Maxwell Masberg. So we met at a program and he 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 informed that oh, this I, I hope I've heard of Wikipedia and do I know I, there's a movement that I can join and also start editing. So I really he said yes. And I also tried my hands on it and I saw that I was an edit back to him and create an account, stuff like that. So I started reading, reading, doing my own research around it. But he told me for like for me to be able to really do it, we need to meet in person so that we can start the editing. So fast forward, I was in Accra and he's in Kumasi. So during that week, I also find myself in Kumasi and he invited me to church. <laughs> I thought you go editing. So I went to his church after the church service. No, no, I need a computer for us to start editing with because he was like, even though we can edit with the with the with your phone, editing. If a, a, like a, a new a newbie, it will be better to use get a laptop that or like a computer can, that can help me really understand the interface and start my editing journey. So they, they, that day we couldn't do anything, but he was able to create an, an account for me, and then that was it. Lucky for me, that month where Ofwa was organizing the SOS, the open the summer open school, which I think was one of the flagship project by Ofwa which really allows you and expose you to the open movement in general. So I, I applied for it and uh, fortunate for me, I was also, uh, I was picked. Uh, I was chosen to, to, to have that scholarship to attend the summer project. It was a three day in-house project and it really equipped me and really helped me to understand the open movement as a whole and how to edit on Wikipedia and other sister projects. So that from, from that day, that was where the, the, I started editing. So I uh, didn't start with creating articles. I started improving articles, right? So we were taught to start new articles in the sandbox. So I quite remember the first article I started working on was Uhum, Uhum Festival. So I started working on Uhum Festival in my sandbox. And 
<laughs> the grass article is still in the samples. I never, I only never, I never publish it. So I started working there. I was like, no. Creating an article in your soundboards, pushing it and letting someone approve for you would take time. So I then stopped working on the article and I started improving an article. But I realized that when I want to improve on an article, it, it goes live. But if I'm creating a new article, it, it needs to be approved. So I started adding up, improving articles, reading about, like searching for stops that need improvement. And one strategy that I was using was I was looking at my colleagues, what they were doing. So I can go to a friend's page and look at his contribution and say, that, okay, if he's working on this article, what can I also add up? So that's how I started. So I started improving an article. So I felt like, okay, I can, I can create an article. So I created my first article. And when I created it, I didn't work at all. It's on the sound, but I created it like straight and I published it. And within, let's say, two, three days, it was live. And so I, 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 I got the, uh, I got the, like I say, I get the view more, like, you know, I was like, okay, so if we didn't do that, I can work on an article and to go live, I need to start on it. So instead of going, creating articles on like biography of our people, which sometimes was a little bit challenging, I started with towns. So I, I'm from the Eastern region, so I would look at like, going like, okay, the town that I know along the stretch, the, the Accra to Kumasi, Accra, let's Accra, no, I started with Accra to Nkoko Highway, the town that I know of them. I started searching to see if those towns were on Wikipedia. And if they were not, I started creating articles on those towns. Uh, so that's how I started. I started creating articles on towns. And, you know, creating articles on towns, it wasn't that difficult. And it being deleted was the, the, the high tendency that it will stay. Because it is a fact. If there's a town known as Kowun Saban, it is there. What do you need is certain articles online to let you know, to prove that the town is there. Any fact about the town that you would like to write in, getting at sources to, to push it. So yeah, so that was, that was how the journey started. And I think we've created articles. Then you can talk about you know, the deletions. Yeah, you have said to, which if you are a newbie, you should, you should also expect that. So there have been instances that you, you create an article and it will be nominated for deletion. Which at least I've had about two, three articles <laughs> deleted. There is time that you, 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 you spend the whole the night looking. Yeah, yeah. Still, if you can really hold on to that thought for me, I, I really want you to hold on to that thought for me. We'll come back to you know, some of the challenges that you have. Challenges, had, okay. So please hold on to that thought for me. Okay. And then I quickly want to move to um, the Supremo, who is also another um, experienced editor in our community. He's someone that has won a lot of um, awards and then a lot of prizes when it comes to volunteering and all that. So the Supremo, I'll just want you to quickly share with us your, your biggest or your favorite moments in the world editing uh, Wikipedia. So what has been like your favorite moments while editing Wikipedia? The moments where you felt like, oh, okay, so um, editing on Wikipedia is actually worth it. And then you, you were fulfilled and then you felt very happy with what you did. If you can kindly just share one moment with us. Hi, the Supremo. Uh, okay. Yeah, hello. Hello? Yes, we can, uh, hear can you hear me? Yes, we can okay. hear you. Okay. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Eugene, thank you for this um, opportunity. <laughs> um, actually, okay, I'm Faisal, and known as, uh, known as the Supremo on Wikipedia. Okay, I first uh, registered in May 2014 when I was in um, the training college as the agriculture and training college. I was doing my research and I came, I came upon um, Wikipedia. So I was like, ah, what was Wikipedia? I saw a great, uh, great account. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah, I said, um, I saw um, create an account and I created my account. I didn't know there's something called um, editing on Wikipedia. So I remember, um, we went to the Moli National Park and I took a picture um, and I uploaded it on um, Wikicommerce. 
So <laughs> I was there and I received a notification that um, it has been tagged for deletion. Just later I realized it was um, Enoch. He's also an experienced um, editor here in Ghana. So he tagged my image for deletion. So I wasn't active again till after school. So somewhere around 2017 or so, and um, I received an email from um, Sadat. He is in um, Global Pin uh, Initiative Foundation. He sent me an email saying uh, there will be a training at Impact Hub. Like they will train us how to edit Wikipedia. So I was <laughs> I was trying to like avoid and. Uh, he, he forced me, <laughs> he forced me. And I remember that time it was during fasting time, you know, fasting time to like going to conserve our energy. So I didn't want to be going up and down. So I was even trying to do the training. He said, oh no, I shouldn't worry, I should come. So I remember him and we were working on corruption. The, the case surrounding him. So um, I, I created an article called The Corruption in Ghana. So they took me through and to my sandbox. <laughs> I didn't I didn't go back to the school and <laughs> later it was it was deleted. 2018, um, the latter part of 2018, uh, a link was sent to um, um, a crap. It goes from English to any local language. That's Sudan Tree and Hausa um, on Wikipedia. You can join. So I registered and I was picked. So that, that was when I realized you can also translate on Wikipedia. So coming to my first article that I created. Aside the corruption in Ghana, it was the um, son of a renowned Islamic scholar. He is uh, did that. I remember he was he was murdered. So I was uh, I tried creating an article using his father as uh, like a starting point. <laughs> uh, after clicking on publish, it was not even uh, about five minutes. It was like two minutes. <laughs> so it has been tagged for a deletion. It was even speedy deletion, yeah. <laughs> so that my article, my first article was deleted, and like it didn't, it didn't um, stop me from editing. So I started editing, and you, uh, most of my like um, editing was on um, politicians because I realized when you are editing on politicians, towns, villages, they are they are normally not tag for deletion compared to um, these celebrities or like um, someone who is not well known. So that's how I began editing on Wikipedia. And it has been fun. Yes, it has been fun. I think you, you didn't answer our question. Oh. So we are working. <laughs> <your Uji>. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's your most exciting moment about editing Wikipedia. If you can just share just one moment with us. Okay, just okay, okay. My exciting moment was uh, when uh, I won a laptop. Okay. I took part in a contest, and that was the Founders' Day. I remember it was the it was the maiden edition. If I'm not wrong, uh, Eugene can correct me. It was the maiden yeah, edition. Well. Yeah, and I I won a laptop. And I've um, took part in more than 100 competitions and so far, <laughs> um, so far so good, yeah. That's all of what I can say. <laughs> <That was good. laughs> okay, oh, Yuji, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. How <laughs> that's that we heard from new experience editors, I want to give the platform to um, some newbies, you know, some people who are fairly new in their uh, movement, and if they can also share some experiences with us and then their expectations um, they have for the year and then the years beyond. So um, I see a couple of newbies over here. 
let me okay let me start with the Yautuba. Yautuba, if you can just kindly share you know your expectations um for the year with regards to editing on wikipedia and then also your experience so far as a newbie just briefly Yautuba. oh okay um, thank you very much for, for this opportunity. Um, I would like to start from where uh, my, my own boss, <laughs> I don't know if he intentionally <laughs> did it that way for my boss to, uh, okay. So uh, I was at shop one day and um, actually I'm, uh, I'm into IT. I'm an IT technician and I've known the Supremo for, for a long time. He was my senior in JHS, so I've known him for a long time. <clears throat> so he came to me to uh, for me to install some stuff on his laptop. And I think that's the laptop he was talking about. Yeah, so when he came in, I was like, ah. Charlie, this laptop, you know, it's small laptop. Whoa, where, how much you buy them? And it was like, oh, no, nah, I don't buy them. If it's a movement day. Then I asked him, ah, we movement that. Then he said, oh, it'll be some Wikipedia movement. I said, oh, where well, you, you don't talk to me, then you, they, you don't talk to me, say, Charlie. This is what they go on. And it was like, oh, he didn't know I, I, I'll be interested in that. As, oh, I mean, this stuffs me at the like then thing. So I think related stuff, there have been no semi there, me at the inside. So he just introduced me. And I was that dream and told him about that thing. I was like, oh, Charlie, the thing of me, I make serious. So, so make you show me top. And he, he sent me some links to register and stuff. And I think um, the day I met, we met, you no, know, I think a week, a week, you no, know, not some a Wikipedia, um, this thing too will be going on at um, around Laboni. I've forgotten the place. Now. So we went there and I think he helped me create an account, Wikipedia account and stuff. And Unfortunately for me, I wasn't blocked when I was creating the account. I wasn't blocked, and uh, my my own boss too was also there. Uh, Robert Jamal was also there, so he tried to help me out with some stuff. So my first article I created on um, Wikipedia, I think I've uh, I've forgotten the article. I just got to realize, oh. I've been blocked again. So I told this promo to help me out. And he sent my username to uh, Robert Jamal to work it out for me. And I think within some few days, the, the block was removed from my account again. And so now I've been editing, doing more editing and stuff without any problem. Although at times when, uh, I try to create an article or something. They target for for it to be deleted and stuff. But I try to find my way out for it to be for it to be live on Wikipedia. And I've been editing um, in in our local languages like Fancy G, and I, I'm I'm not really good at. Uh, I was about, I can speak small, small. So I've edited some few articles also in um, I was and so far so good. I think everything, everything is going well. And by the grace of God, I've been, <laughs> I've been winning some small, small hours. And I think I'm following my, my father's footsteps small, small. So I know definitely we'll get to the, our 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 destination. Yeah. Great, great, Thank great, you great. Much. Thank you so much, Yautuba. And then um, mm -hmm. was Yautuba was actually um, the winner for the Just Ended Africa Youth Month um, contest uh, organized by Open Foundation West Africa. And uh, he's he's fairly new in the movement, like you mentioned, but he's making a lot of strides now. And 
we we appreciate people like him because we we expect you know fresh blood and fresh energy in the movements like this to be editing and you know encouraging more and people who are also new to the movement to also edit more so from Yautuba, i would also move on to another newbie who is also making strides and you know also editing a lot and participating in most of our contests so i want to give the floor to you know Gisando to also share his thoughts i mean his experience just like everyone did and probably one or two um, high and low moments of editing Wikipedia. So, you know, the floor is yours. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, I, I have great experiences so far. Um, I was introduced to the whole movement by uh, uh, Stephen Dechi. Shout out to you, wherever you are, bro. And so far, so good. Um, it, has, it has been great, yeah, like, it has actually helped me um, emotionally because sometimes, I mean, you want to, like, you want to have fun, you want to uh, release some stress, and it's it's it's, it's kind of, it's kind of a stress reliever for me too. Because at first I thought it would be boring and to just be like articles, and sometimes if I come, I I I really have not sometimes all the time if I come, I have fun and yeah, it's, it's good, yeah. So I have. Great experience so far. Although I haven't been like very very active, but I've I've, I've tried to article one, uh, try to edit one or two articles and also create one. But like not more like. But so far so good. It has been great. Yeah, and I, and I love it. I've met wonderful people, like all of you. Yeah. So yeah, I've also networked a lot. So it has been very helpful to me. Yeah. So thank you. That's all I can say. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you so much, um, Enoch. Yeah. And I would want to go back to the experience editors. Um, I don't know if anyone would want to volunteer before I actually nominate somebody to, you know, um, share his thoughts. So any experience editor over here would want to just share their thoughts. I mean, their experiences like everyone did. Any, any volunteer? <clears throat> Okay, this is Gameli, and don't mind the name. I'm just behind Ruby's profile. Yeah, but it's a man. So I'm Gameli. I've been in the movement since 2017, and me joining the open movement happened by accident. I was given an invitation to attend um, an information session and training. And when I went through the, the program, I saw something that I was interested in. I was back then very interested in cryptocurrencies because of um, Bitcoin and all of the things that it was doing for people. So that was what caught my attention. So when I came, I was not coming to listen to Wikipedia or anything from the open movement. I was looking out for um, crypto. But as the sessions run, I realized that this whole thing called the open movement is very big because back in school, I used to go online. I did a lot of research and a lot of the information I got came from Wikipedia. And I had no idea that it was just regular people like you and I who could make um, contributions onto that platform. Because I used to think that it was a big organization with tech geeks and a lot of um, people who were experts in their field who were allowed to put information on the platform. So realizing that an ordinary person like me can do something that can impact a lot of people was something that was big because I can be in my corner and I will do something that will work for people today, people in the future until eternity. So I've been someone who has always been passionate about um, um, service. I've been passionate about helping to improve the lot of people. I was an ISECA back in university and we did a lot. We did a lot of projects and we're all trying to make a positive impact. So when I saw this experience, I realized that it was another opportunity for me to be able to make that impact again. So I started to edit, but back then we were using codes. So it's not like what it is right now. You have to be using symbols and a whole lot of you know, computer language. So I was editing, but I was not that active. And then one day I went and met Felix. We were talking. 
And then he told me, I've joined, but I'm not that active. What is wrong? And I was saying, no, oh, um, I, I, I like following information outside. And he said, um, Africa is not that well represented on the web. And that is what Open Foundation is about. We are here to make sure that Africa gets um, all of its, the representation it needs on the web. So I should focus more on local things and also information from the continent. So that was what got me going. It was there I began to realize, okay, Open Foundation West Africa. So it's about open and it's about Africa. So I started to edit. We used to have a lot of campaigns. We would have training sessions, but I would not attend in person because, I mean, it's the same thing that's taught over and over for the new people. So I'll stay home, but I'll be active. If it is about adding citations, I'll do it. If it is about adding articles on women, I'll do it. If it's about um, improving articles, anything that the campaign sought to achieve, I contributed to. So I kept doing these things consistently. And it was fun. It was fun. Because if you look at um, an article like Otun Say to Two, about half of the content in the article I put there. And Otun Four is a very high profile personality in Ghana. So when you go on there, there is a lot. I mean, the first time I looked at the, his, his article, I said, this man, he comes from a long line of royalty that is very crucial in this country. And the way that the article was, it's not really befitting of it. So I started, that was around the time when, you know, the Dabon crisis was solved. So I started by adding what he had done to bring the crisis to an end. And when I came back later, I realized that certain things that I had put in there, other people had developed into full articles. So I realized I had made an impact because the end of the Dabon war is like, um, it's an iconic event in the history of Ghana. So just by starting that, I have been, people have contributed by making or creating separate articles from certain elements in there. And that has made a contribution to um, giving Africa the representation that it needs. So previously, I think there wasn't any article on that. There were certain personalities in there that they didn't have their own articles, but now it is there. So gradually, I mean, we are getting where we want to. And I was happy that that had happened. Now, the high point of my experience was the first time that I won the um, what's that? Star Performer of the Year. And we went for an end of year meet. And as the prizes were being mentioned, I had no expectation that I would be called. So when my name was mentioned, okay, um, a small introduction about the award was given and then the name was mentioned. It took me like 10 seconds before I could compose myself because I did not expect it. But you know, in everything, when you give um, all of the efforts from your heart, I mean, it achieves effects and then it is recognized. And now fast forward some years later, I am a staff of Open Foundation West Africa. So what started out as an accident that I took seriously has now opened a door in my career professionally. So there is a lot in this experience for everybody. When you come in as a newbie, I mean, try to open your eye to the big picture. There is a lot in there for everyone. If you want to do it as a passion or you want to take it beyond that, just open your eyes. There is a lot in there for everyone. So that's all that I have for you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Gamili. I mean, I'm, I'm super inspired by your story. And I love the fact that you actually joined the movement by accident. I mean, quotes of accidents. And then now you're here working as a staff of OP Foundation West Africa. I mean, these are stories that we love to hear and um, stories that, you know, would inspire the, the new generation, you know, to impact um, society by writing more stories about Africa on Wikipedia. So moving on, I will also want to give the floor to another um, experienced editor in the movement. I know he'll be caught by surprise, but uh, Robert Jamal, if you can just kindly share a few, you know, two cents on how exactly your journey has been with editing Wikipedia 
and you know a few challenges also you can just share because i know i know i'm catching you by surprise but kindly you know do us the honors of ben jamal hey hello everyone um, good evening uh thank you so much for this opportunity i hope everyone can hear me right yes i can hear you okay okay cool yeah um yes so the journey hasn't been uh what do you call hasn't been easy though but uh at the turn wikipedia starts off like a passion then it's been taken into the next level as um my brother gamalaya stated most of us started this as a passion uh, you know but career wise is really shaping us for you know most of the staffs in the open movement i joined in 2019 when wikimedia ghana user group was looking for um the eastern region representative someone who can organize events in the eastern region i was very passionate about open movements and uh, i was living in kufuria by then so i said why not so i reached out to um, one of the co-founders and that's that most of us know her who invited me for a series of programs uh, we had uh, events on art and feminism so we i first started in the sandbox which most of us don't use anymore but you know um when when we came to the movement it was like a mandatory something to start something in your sandbox so that you can um grab uh, what do you call uh, the whole concept so yes that was the journey i started there then i moved on to becoming one of the organizers for wikimedia ghana user group um from there i was also uh, exposed to so many opportunities aside the movements you know one of the things is when you're in the movement it's voluntary like you don't get to you don't get paid and you know internet and all those those are some of the petty petty things that we in africa we lack and it's one thing that discourages new editors from editing but the little you can do to put um, something on wikipedia can go a long way to help another person as well so i started my my first article created the article for the first uh, youngest female pilot in ghana ac audrey so i started that article and from there i moved on to you know fixing spelling mistakes and also improving some of ghanian articles so yes it's 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 a very exciting journey and it has exposed so many of us to you know so many opportunities and i would you know encourage most of us to or all of us here to continue you know documenting the little stuff you know editing wikipedia is all about creating articles like uh, it's not all about creating articles let me put it that way because even currently for the past 30 minutes now i've been editing articles and it's not all about creating but just fixing one or two stuffs on there so wikipedia is 22 years old today and we are all excited to be part of this um you know open and you know uh, uh free source movement that gives knowledge and uh, you know for free so that anyone can access it for free so yes thank you so much for having me on and i hope we all do our best or you know put in our best to help improve stuff concerning ghana and africa as a whole so thank you so much thank you so much Thank you so much, Robert, and um, I love the fact that you said that, you know, contributing on Wikipedia is not just about creating articles, but it's also about, you know, editing as well. So just in case there are some newbies who feel like, oh, okay, they are scared to uh, create articles on Wikipedia because the articles might be dated. Just like you said, you can start by, you know, editing a few articles and then you can start your journey from there. So, you know, we've heard, we've heard the good parts. We've heard people, you know, winning. Um, laptops and <laughs> phones from um, competitions. We've heard people, you know, earning their spots, earning their spots in uh, a few organizations, just like um, Robert Jamal and then Mr. Gameli said. Now, the, the not too good part, the, the ugly, ugly part, the bad experiences. You know, if, if anyone here can just share some few bad experiences that they've had with edits in Wikipedia. Anyone? Yeah. Um, okay, so um, can I go? Let me. Just, My internet uh, is not stable, so I want to. 
Hello, can anyone hear me? We all come in different ways that have different experiences. Um, one of the things that I um, um, seen in the movement or in our community is that most of the time when we get newbies coming in, we really want to have to create a new article. And that alone sort of like deter them because you see that the articles are attacked by CD deletion. And most of the time, we, get, we haven't really um, grasped what has been for the need time to digest how to create an article. And sometimes it's, not everybody likes to start a new article. So one of the things that I'll say is that we all don't have to force ourselves to write an article on English Wikipedia. There are several ways that we can all contribute on Wikipedia. Even some wikis that we don't even experience uh, or blockage, this IP block and all of that. Uh, because talking about ugly experiences, these are some of the ugly experiences. When I joined the movement at first, like Amelia was, was saying, was coded. So that particular training was led by Jersey. And I didn't understand what was happening. I was like, oh my God, the, these people are coming to send me into a developer or what? I'm not interested. So it was my second um, training. I got to know that we could actually edit using a visual editor. That was my breakthrough. Yes. And my and when I and when I got to know how to do that, I wanted to create an article instantly. And then it was tagged for speedy deletion. And my second article was also tagged for speedy. I was like, no, let me just sit back and watch and learn <laughs> before I bounce back. But at that time, I wish I had known about wiki codes. I wish like I was I had known about wiki data because those are places where it's so easy to practice in your editing, creating items, creating codes, like for the time. These are like very interesting fun ways to contribute to. So I think that um for newbies, if you are listening, I mean don't force yourself to do that. Definitely training in your article and you might have some of the experience that most of us if not because of our consistent in, in cushion, we would have been dead because there's a lot of people who maybe stop off just because of those blood. Yeah, that's just a little I wanted to add. Thank you. Thank you so, 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 so much, Ruby, for sharing some experiences. I mean, most of us are, you know, um, can relate to what we say. Sometimes we start with a lot of adrenaline and enthusiasm, hoping that we we'll create articles, but they'll be tough for speedy deletion even before we publish it. So I would want to give the floor to anyone else to share some, you know, bad, ugly experiences. Anyone, anyone at all before I nominate someone. Anyone, Steven, Jesse, the Supremo, Robert, enough, anyone? Yeah, hello. Okay, yeah, Robert. Yeah, there's Robert. So yes, um, one of one of the challenges that I want to talk about is not. <clears throat> let me say it's an ongoing challenge that newbies might face as they they try to edit Wikipedia, which is the block on the IP. So most of you might be affected by IP blocks, which is very discouraging because you know when you want to edit an article, they say your IP has been blocked because you are vandalizing the pages and other stuff. <clears throat> Please don't panic when you see those messages. You know, <clears throat> sorry. Please don't panic when you see those messages because most of the experienced editors here know that all of us are working very, very hard behind the scenes to take out that IP block stuff that's affecting most of African countries. That's because some English editors think that, or they assume that uh, most of our net uh, networks are peer to peer. So it has been caught in, you know, there's VPN stuff and all those things. So please. Um, most of newbies have affiliates. You can just submit your username to your affiliate. They can help you with um, getting the IP blockers. And it's very frustrating. Like it's it's something that has been going on for almost two years now. And it affects everybody, no matter whether you are experienced or you are newbie. But most of the newbies get discouraged because I want to, I went, I went for a training and some of the feedbacks that I get is that like I went for a training and after the training, I want to edit Wikipedia, but anytime I try to log in, they tell me my IP is blocked. Okay, then I want to edit again, or maybe it's frustrating, I'll stop. But please let's keep that zero that yes, 
um, your athletes or the group or someone who introduced you to Wikipedia can actually assist you. So you see that those are some of the, um, this is some of um, one of the, what do you call, challenge that, that we all go through. And also internet bundle. So personally, um, um, editing Wikipedia when I started was a bit of a problem because we all know how our telecoms and all those stuff charge and all those things. But let me tell you, editing Wikipedia doesn't take much of your bundle. Like I'm trying to be very honest with you in the sense that if you have a computer and you want to edit Wikipedia, just put up all your background application that's running. And internet data has been one problem that is really affecting most of us. I know that most newbies will be going through the same things, but we all are going towards a direction where we want information to be free. You wouldn't use information today. Maybe you might not be in need of it today, but maybe your son or maybe your relative or maybe your grandchildren can come and see what you've done. So yes, the little data we have, we can at least, it's voluntary, yes, <laughs> which is which is kind of, you know, that's, you know, let's all do well to, to help out. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Robert. I mean, these are the two key challenges I even face myself. Because sometimes when you train a couple of newbies and then they are eager to edit, you realize that most of them face the IP address block. And it's, it's not a very nice experience. It's not, it's not a pleasant experience because here you are motivating people to contribute on Wikipedia. And then now that they are ready to contribute on Wikipedia, they cannot contribute because of IP address block. So personally, I, I relate with you and then I really don't like the experiences. It's a very bad experience. So anyone else, anyone else who wants to share a bad or not so good or not so nice experience? Anyone? Okay, I'll start nominating. Um, Stephen Deji, you can kindly share. Oh, okay, so I think the experience I can make mention of is with the speedy deletion. Uh, uh, yeah, that was that I quite remember I once stayed overnight to create an article and, you know, the cost of data, you buy, you can get cheaper data at night. So I need to use the data from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. in the morning and it took me like three hours to put together the article. So I was done. I wanted to publish the article, went to use the washroom, just get back, and the article has been tagged for speedy deletion. And you go like, wow, all this hour that I've researched. And, uh, but lucky for me, I challenged, I told the person, I know this article needs to stand. And I also have people coming on board to look at it. And so now the article is in existence. I think it was Acrobeto. I could see Bwedi when I was working on this article. And so now the article is told that a lot of people have really worked on it and improved it. But the experience was very, uh, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't nice at all. <laughs> Looking at spending almost four hours, not sleeping, and just within a few seconds, somebody thinks the article is, is not well attended. The reason that the person was stating it is something that, we found that was really holding grounds. So that's, you know, such experience. But what I can say to you is that, yeah, you, you, you may face such, such issues. But if you really think, and you know that the, the article needs to stand, and it's not a paid article, or it's not that somebody has contracted you to do it, you can move to, and then any time they tag an article for deletion, they will tag the, the policy, the W, like Wikipedia policy. That's the reason why they think that the article can hold. So, for example, if you say the person is maybe a, a, an actor or the person is, let's say, uh, an author, right? So they need the author need to meet certain threshold before you can quote unquote say that that person is notable. So you can also go there and read it. And if you read it and you feel like, yeah, whatever the police is saying, the person in question meets it. But I think by then I come to have won, have won certain awards and he was the yeah, the actor of the year, he has so many awards. That makes him notable here in Ghana. And he have even been featured on some of these international news outlets for his, you know, he have this program that he ran on UTV, the real news. So you can use that and argue your, your, your how do you call it, yourself out. Most times, one person, one administrator can uh, delay the article. Sometimes they will have to vote on it. 
So when you also put in the information, the people will descend of descending, we will come and look at it and be like, no, it needs to stand. Uh, just ask Robert said, if you are a member of a community, which is one advantage why you need to belong to a community, you can reach out to the community members and they can also assist you in that. Great, 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 great. Thank you, thank you so much, Stephen. So um, now that we've heard about you know some IGG experiences that um, we as editors have had, I just want to ask us, um, what do you think is the future for uh, Wikipedia? I mean, now that Wikipedia is 23 years, what do you foresee? I mean, what do you expect to see? What do you foresee? What's the future for you for Wikipedia? I would want to give the floor to anyone before I start nominating. So. Um, okay. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Yes, we can. Okay, uh, so I think um, so far so good because I think a lot of people never knew that um, they can also edit on Wikipedia because even me, I'm a victim because I never knew say like everyone can edit on Wikipedia. I just thought they have some some few people that I think they do research on people and stuff, then they just put on Wikipedia for people to also learn from their site and until I get introduced to. So I think we are also doing our best to introduce to people to also help um, edit on Wikipedia. So I think in some years, few years to come. Okay, so let me add briefly to what our brother said. All that I'll say is that the future is in our hands. The future is us. And we, I mean, looking, looking at the movement strategy, we have the community itself has designed a future that they want. And we all have a role to play in actualizing that future. We all have a contribution to make and it all has to do with how we're leveraging on each other's skills, each other's, I mean, you have a skill that I do not have, I have a skill that you do not have, or we may all be having the, the same skills or not. So let's play our role in our own little way, looking at where we want to get to, and let's build the future together. Um, I mean, it's not gonna be an easy journey, but, I think that let's learn more about our strategic goals. Let's see which areas that we, we want to um, specialize. I mean, the Wikimedia ecosystem is huge. I must say it's huge. You can just get buried in it and not be known for anything or not like find you. You might feel like you want to do everything and then you might feel like you are left out. No, identify what area is your strength or where your strength lies and then maximize it that's all i'll say you, you don't have to do everything and don't feel like if you are not an editor on english wikipedia and maybe you are doing the other language wikipedia you are left out no if that's your strength focus on that if your strength is in wikidata focus on that if you like don't feel like intimidated when you see other people like doing some other stuff maximize your area and then create an impact in whatever, whichever little way that you can. That's all I'll say. Thank you so much, Ruby. The keynotes I got from there was that creates an impact. Um, Ezekiel, you have, to, you, you have your hands on if you can kindly unmute and share your thoughts. Um, yeah, um, am I audible? Yeah. Yes, um, I so can hear you. Okay, great. So I think um, my experience, um, I've heard about Wikipedia, um, I have um, seen people talk about it, but I never really got 
and I, I never really took it serious in the sense that I felt like, okay, <clears throat> then there has to be some special group of people that are targeted to work on the platform. So I, I never really took it serious to find out um, what exactly it is and how I can get in, even though I was interested in editing. And sometimes I cringe when I see uh, spelling mistakes, um, poorly constructed sentences, among other things. So for me, I thought that, okay, that was a, bo- a go-to place to be. Um, I, when Oula um, Kaku organized the uh, training session for us for individuals of, um, to focus on uh, minorities and how to really push contents and stories about individuals that find like find themselves in certain minorities, I thought that was an opportunity to go to align myself and learning to go about it familiarizing myself with the rules and everything was an exciting experience. And second, finally, from the challenge I faced, yeah, I think mo- most people have spoken about this, the IT block and also the deletion of content or like, yeah, of, of page when created. Um, yeah, I think I, I experienced similar. So, but I think, Based on the strategies that's been given, it goes a long way to indicate how it's important for us to be interconnected with the community and be much more in tune with each other. So we share the good and the bad. So we know how to go to help each other moving forward and be able to tackle some of these things as and when we can because one person cannot address all the issues. So it's important for us to, be able to effectively share these um, challenges for individuals that have gone through or have the experience or the exposure to assist, especially if we, we know we tick all the boxes for, um, for such situations. So basically that would be my experience so far and I'm looking forward to learning more. And um, Robert has been an amazing resource. Um, um, Ola Kaka has been an amazing, fantastic, and recently I came into contact with Ruby and the Open Foundation for, um, has been so great. So I look forward to more interactions and more collaborations in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much, Diko. I mean, if there is something that we all learned, I think we would uh, learn to collaborate more, just like you said, because you, you might never know what you might learn from um, your fellow editor. So finally, are there any final thoughts? Are there any final thoughts? Anybody who wants to share anything before we finally leave? With regards to what we just said, or even anything, anything with regards to the movement that we haven't even spoken about. Any final thoughts? Okay, great. Since, since um, nobody wants to speak, I think before we um, officially close this session, I would want everyone to turn on their videos and we'll quickly take a screenshot and then we'll officially leave. So if everyone can turn on the video like this, I have. And so we see the faces behind the voices. <laughs> Nice, nice. Great, Yaltuba. Great. Um, Enoch, Ezekiel, Jesse, Teresa, Abigail. Okay, so um, I would want us to show up our two hands down for 2022. Yes, we keep it at 2 2. Great. Let me quickly take a screenshot. Great. Ah, oh, this is lovely. Ah, oh, Ezekiel. Great, great. Great, 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 great. Thank you, thank you, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I see someone at the back, Ezekiel. 
that's nice that's nice so thank you thank you thank you so much everyone i would also want to say that if you would want to engage or you know collaborate with um, anybody here you can follow um, us on any of our social media platforms at open foundation with africa or ofw africa on instagram facebook twitter um, youtube linkedin everywhere just look for open foundation west africa and if there's anything you want to know more about um, the movements we are here to help you so thank you once again for joining the session and and ruby do you want to say something <laughs> Okay, sure, sure, sure. Great. Okay. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you everyone for joining the session. And this um, session will be uploaded. So after this, I will upload this on YouTube and you can find it on our official YouTube channel. That's Open Foundation West Africa. So just in case you would want to, you know, watch this over again, you can just go to our YouTube channel and then watch it. Thank you once again. And then bye everyone.